Hello everyone, welcome back to the map of mathematics. In this video, we are going to solve this nice algebra problem. And here we have n to the power of 12 minus 1 equals to 0. And we will uh, here we find all the 12th root of this equation. So the very first thing we are going to do is here first we rewrite this equation as n to the power of 6 and its whole squared and we write this one as 1 squared equals to 0. And in the next step we will use here the nice uh, well known square identity and you know that if you have a squared minus b squared equals to 0 then we write it as n to the power of 6 minus 1 times of n to the power of 6 plus 1 equals to 0. So in the next step, uh, you will see here we have uh, two cases here. So our first case is we write n to the power of 6 minus 1 equals to 0. And our second case is we write n to the power of 6 plus 1 equals to 0. So now first I can solve our uh, first case. So in this case, you will again uh, uh, write this n to the power of 6 as n cubed square and minus 1 squared equals to 0. So now uh, we will use here again the nice square identity. So according to this identity we will write it as n cubed minus 1 times of n cubed plus 1 equals to 0. So here you again get two cases. The first is we write n cubed minus 1 equals to 0 and the second case is we write n cubed plus 1 equals to 0. So here we use uh, the both nice cubic formulas and you know about these formulas if we have a cubed minus b cubed uh, it is equals to a minus b times of a squared plus a b plus b squared. So if you have positive sign here so you can write it as this is the positive and this is the negative term so we can use here this positive and negative cubic formula on both of the terms and you will get the solutions from these two terms so now first i can uh, apply uh, this cubic formula on this term and you will get here n minus one times of uh, n squared minus n plus 1 equals to 0 and similarly when you can use here the cubic formula on this term then you will get here n plus uh, uh, 1 times of uh, n squared and plus uh, n squared minus n and plus 1 squared equals to 0. Sorry this is the uh, positive term. So uh, now we have, now here you will easily get our n minus 1 equals to 0 and n squared plus n plus 1 equals to 0. Similarly in this case you will get here n plus 1 equals to 0 and n squared minus n plus 1 equals to 0. So now we can solve these four cases here. So in this case you will easily get the value of n equals to 1 and similarly in this case you will get the value of n equals to minus 1. So these are the first two real roots of this problem and now we have mm, the this equation and this equation so now we can use here the nice quadratic formula in order to solve these two equations. So in this equation, first we can write the coefficients here and you have a equals to 1, b equals to 1 and c equals to 1. And similarly in this equation, you have coefficient a equals to 1, b equals to minus 1 and c equals to 1. So these are the uh, coefficients of uh, both of the equations. And now we can use here the nice quadratic formula and you know about this formula we have n equals to minus b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4 times of a c over 2 times of a so this is our nice cubic formula and we can use this formula in order to find the value of n so that now we can put both uh, values on this formula and you will get the first output here so when you put these values in this quadratic formula you will get here minus 1 plus minus square root of 
वन स्केर इज वन माइनस फोर टाइम्स ऑफ ए एंड सी इज वन एंड होल ओवर टू एंड सिमिलरली वैन यू पुट दीज वैल्यूज इन दिस फॉर्मूला देन यू विल गेट हेयर ओवर एन इक्वल्स टू माइनस बी एंड यू हैव द वैल्यू ऑफ बी इज माइनस वन सो इट विल बिकम्स प्लस वन एंड प्लस माइनस यू हैव स्केयर रूट ऑफ बी स्केयर एंड इट इज वन माइनस फोर टाइम्स ऑफ ए सी इज फोर एंड दिस होल ओवर टू सो नाउ वी विल सॉल्व दीज टू इक्वेजन्स हेयर एंड हेयर यू ऑप्टेन एन इक्वल्स टू माइनस वन प्लस माइनस माइनस थ्री स्केयर रूट ओवर टू एंड सिमिलरली हेयर यू ऑप्टेन वन इक्वल्स टू एन इक्वल्स टू वन प्लस माइनस माइनस स्केयर रूट ऑफ थ्री ओवर टू so uh, here you see that we have minus sign under the square root so we will just uh, write it as minus 1 plus minus square root of 3 iota over 2 so these are the other two complex roots of the given equation and similarly uh, in in this case you will um, get more complex roots which is वन प्लस माइनस के रूट ऑफ थ्री टाइम्स ऑफ आयोटा ओवर टू सो दीज आर द अदर टू रूट सो हेयर वी फाइंड दीज आर द टू एंड टू फोर रूट्स एंड द टू रूट्स आर हेयर सो वी कैन फाइंड हेयर अप टू द फोर अप टू द सिक्स रूट्स एंड नाउ वी कैन सॉल्व दिस सॉरी वी कैन सॉल्व दिस नाइस इक्वेजन सो वी कैन नाउ सॉल्व दिस इक्वेजन एंड वी फाइंड द अदर सिक्स रूट्स फ्राम हेयर सो वी हैव एन टू द पावर ऑफ सिक्स प्लस वन इक्वल्स टू जीरो सो नाउ वी मूव टू वर्ड्स दिस इक्वेजन एन टू द पावर ऑफ सिक्स प्लस वन इक्वल्स टू जीरो सो हेयर वी विल राइट दिस इक्वेजन एज एन स्क्वेड क्यूब्ड प्लस वन क्यूब्ड इक्वल्स टू जीरो सो हेयर वी कैन अगेन यूज द नाइस क्यूबिक फॉर्मूला सो अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस फॉर्मूला वी विल राइट दिस एज एन स्क्वेड प्लस वन टाइम्स ऑफ एन स्क्वेड एंड इट्स होल स्क्वेड माइनस एन स्क्वेयर and plus 1 square and this whole equals to 0 so here you get two cases the first is n square plus 1 equals to 0 and the second case is you get n to the power of 4 minus n square plus 1 equals to 0 so that here we have again two cases so in this case you will easily get the value of n square it is equals to minus 1 and when we take the square root on both of the sides then you will get here n equals to plus minus iota so these are the other two complex roots of the given equation and now we move towards this equation so here we have n to the power 4 minus n square plus 1 equals to 0 so you see here this equation uh, will be the quadratic in n squared so that here we can use the nice quadratic formula in order to solve uh, the values of or uh, other values of n so that it will be quadratic in n square and we have the coefficients are a equals to 1 b equals to minus 1 and c equals to 1 and our quadratic formula will be looks like uh, in the uh, form of n squared equals to minus b times of plus minus b squared minus 4 times of ac over 2 times of a so this is the our quadratic formula and now we can put all the values of a b and c in this formula and we will get our roots here so you have the value of b is minus 1 so when you put here it will becomes plus 1 and plus minus square root of 1 minus 4 over 2 so now we can uh, simplify the terms and you will get here n squared equals to 1 plus minus square root of 3 iota over 2 and now we can take the square uh, square root on both of the sides then you will get here plus minus square root of 1 plus minus square root of 3 iota over 2 so these are the four roots so these are the four roots and these are the two roots so here in this case you will get the sixth root 
so this is the our final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos